Because I'm starting small, but once I have enough capital, I'd like to get into flipping properties. What I would do if I were you, if I were going to talk to a young investor like you, this is what I would do. So you're, so you need to start to build capital up enough where you can actually borrow from a private lender or borrow a hard money loan or build a relationship with someone that can trust in you that you will pay it back. You don't need a ton of capital. You just need to have that trusty person that's like, hey, I trust this kid. I'll give him the money. He can go ahead and do what he needs to do and then they'll make their return on that. Does credit, because I have good credit. I don't know if I have You have any assets? Like? Besides sewing machines? <laughs> Like investments? Anything. You Car, really house, you own anything? I, I uh, personally. I have a lot of camera equipment that I own. That's not going to do it. So, you can get in. What I would do if I were you, if I were going to talk to a young investor like you, this is what I would do. <clears throat> Start looking for property. Now it's tough. The market sucks. There's not a lot of flip stuff out there. Yeah. Start looking, understanding the market. Find some property that might work. Find a private lender that's willing to give you the loan if you put 10 or 15% down. Find another private lender that's willing to take a bet with you and say, hey, look, kid, you find the property, you'll get 40% of the return. You find it, I'll fund the second. We'll get a lender to fund the first. You'll have no money out of pocket, but because you found it and you're able to manage the project, so you're gonna add value. Your value is you're gonna find the property. Your value is that you're gonna help with the construction. You're gonna help the people get, get the people to, to do the construction. You may get the attorney, you may get the, uh, electrician, you may get the, the, the plumber, you may get whatever, right? You got to do that. So you need to find the value add so that your capital is not your value. You don't have shit. Yeah. Your value is your time. You have time, you have the effort, you have the energy. So use your value to bring to people that, that, that you can help. So would you say it's better to, to try to find a guy than to find a, a bank? This is 20, you're in college. You're not finding a bank. You need to find someone that believes in you. So you got to build, you have to build up enough value and a, enough rapport with someone that you show that you can be trusted, that you have a good head on your shoulder, that you understand a good buy versus a bad buy, and then you can bring them deals that they may want to do, but you're the trigger point. So you're the in-between, right? You're the connect. Without you, they don't get the deal. With you, they get the deal, but they have to come up with some skin in the game. So you need to use your connect to get the actual deal as your carrot. You got to hold that in front of them, and then that's how you would do it. Hey, you watched it to the end. That means you must have liked it. Now do me a favor. Click like, click subscribe, or share this with your friends for future content.